Hi, this is Rhys from Pugs R Us. Welcome to We Love Tees and Hoodies. Today uh, it's exciting, I'm going to show you how you can create your own t-shirt, hoodie, baby onesie, iPhone case, tote bag, anything with your own pug on there. Your own pug picture and writing you can put on whatever you want to. I mean obviously this doesn't have to apply to pugs but this is the idea of what we're going to tell you today. So first of all you're going to land on this page which is a welcome page and you need to go to create. Click on create. That will bring you up to the page where you choose what you want to create whether it's a t-shirt or a children's t-shirt or a hoodie or a v-neck or a tank top and over on the next page there's two pages there's also you can do baby onesies which are becoming very popular and other um, and other t-shirts whether you want to do back and front printed as well uh, okay so let's go back to create for this purpose today I'm going to do a hoodie now it's loading the designer and it stops here and you have to click add design from here you can you would normally come up with this page which gives you all the designs down all the categories that are in this store we've got our pugs and we share it with other, some other people as well but for today um, what we're going to do is choose a file so we're going to assume that obviously your picture is not already on here and you're going to import a picture from your PC so choose file this takes you to um, your computer where you would normally go um, whether it's on the desktop or a folder where you keep your pictures I'm going to pick this picture here which is a selfie picture that we posted a couple of days ago just for an example just to show you you can open that just takes a minute or so to do that and you've got to click the box here to say that it's um, you have permission to use this whether it's your picture or you have permission okay you see the picture is a little bit small so we click on it and we get these corners come up we grab one of those corners with your mouse and we drag it if you have no idea what I'm talking about there um, we can help you if you've got any children or grandchildren especially grandchildren I'm sure they'll be able to help you there are whiz on all these things so there we are we put our picture you might not want it that big in which case you could make it a bit smaller so there we've got our picture on the front and over here you can use these buttons to navigate backwards and forwards as well I tend to use my mouse you know this one here will bring it down this one here will bring it up and so on okay you can tilt it if you want to rotate it if you want something to look a bit different and rotate it back okay you can do borders and effects but I'm going to leave those because they're you don't need to be able to do those you can play around with those if you want to okay let's just move that up also we're going to add some text so let's just say our pug's name is Puggy there we are something really original <laughs> add text Puggy if I move it down think that's pretty big I think that's a bit too big so again we grab one of the corners with your left mouse and we make it a bit smaller so we can make it thinner deeper longer obviously it's got to you've got to keep it within the, that square for your photograph so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller here all right so that looks better I might not really want it in that red so if we pop over here where the red area is click the drop down menu and 
might decide that do you know what I'm feeling like a purple so click on purple and it changes it into purple any second now there we are and also the other thing you might want to do is this is a font this is the the writing that the font is an Arial font if you drop that down there are lots of other fonts that you can use all right loads and loads and loads of them let me use this one that looks a little bit like handwriting if I click on that and click OK again that is going to change that and we might want that a little bit bigger so that looks you know it's up to you to design whatever you want okay if if you want somebody to do it for you we'll do it for you we'll charge you a flat ten dollars which is really just going to cover our time um, but I think most of you should be able to get the hang of this and do this especially with you know friends and family to help you uh, the other thing if if you didn't want a black hoodie if you come up here click on the black you might want let's just say you wanted a grey one all right that's a light grey an ash one say you wanted a pink one that doesn't go very well with that writing so you'd need to change it but you can see there's a load of choice that you can have for your design so we can edit the color we need to edit the size at the moment it's one medium so you choose whichever size if you want a 2xl just put a one in there and change this and take it out of there pretty straightforward just to change the size don't know what that is um, and really you know really that is it okay you're adding a design you're adding text when you're ready you can add to cart that 42 pound is showing because I haven't deleted two other shirts that I've already got in there so they're just over $20 each $21 each showing you 42 pound $42 um, that does not reflect the price of this so please just ignore that for the time being so there we are um, obviously if you you know if you're not sure watch this video again if you're still not sure contact us by PM or email and we'll be delighted to help you I hope you have lots of fun if we go back to the beginning this page if you see what we've got up obviously we've got our pug shirts over here any Coronation Street fans will see that what we also do over here if it's if you're interested is we produce shirts which you can do yourself with the year of birth on them so you, if you were born in 65 or born in 83 or whatever you can just change that very easily on this system here okay um, but we'll talk about that another day so hope you have fun I've been Reese. talk soon bye now